Now, this year's All-Ireland Under-21 football final had very much the novel look about it, with Tipperary appearing in the decider for the first time ever. Their opponents, Tyrone, were looking to claim a first Under-21 crown since 2001. Well, that match was played yesterday evening at Parnell Park here in Dublin, and Marty Morrissey was the commentator. This is the Tipperary team that could well make history, winning their very first Under-21 Football All-Ireland title. But can they beat Tyrone? Stephen O'Brien and team captain Colin O'Reardon are a formidable force at centre field, while Liam Fahey and Josh Keane are key players at centre and full forward. Goalkeeper Evan Comerford is protected by a strong defence, led by Jimmy Feehan and Luke Boland. Tyrone have a strong team with goalkeeper Sean Fox, standing behind a fine full-back in Porrick Hampsey. Frank Burns and Carl McShane will be severely tested in McField this evening, while the attack has been impressive, especially Mark Havner, Lee Brennan and Daniel McNulty. One late change sees Mark Bradley replacing the injured Rory McClough. It's a wet, miserable, downright awful evening here in Parnell Park in the capital city. So it's going to make it uh, difficult for these young under-21 footballers the kingpins of Munster and Ulster. Going forward is Liam Casey. Back again, there's a chance here of a score from way out the field. And Tipperary get their second point in this under-21 final. And here comes Liam with kick on a vore, or fought straight between the posts. Plenty of white and red jerseys available to pick up the loose ball, Connor Myler far as Daniel McNulty flicking one over, runs into the path of this man and that is over the bar good play by Mark Bradley good diagonal ball Mark Bradley at the end of it took his chance well kick out again from Comerford Knocked away for us, Daniel McNulty. Conor Myler chasing after this. In hot pursuit is Bill Maher. Still Myler trying to cut inside. Looking at options, makes an angle. Takes a shot, it's dropping, dropping over the bar. Impressive play by Conor Myler. A superb effort at the end of it all. He went for a skyscraper, but it landed just over Evan Comerford's crossbar. Right half back Ross Mulcahy for a run down the middle. Coming forward as well as Kevin Fahey. Right corner back. What can he do from there? He needs a little bit of support from his forwards. This is Jason Lonigan. Good ball. Good chance. Here comes the lob. It's right over the black spot. Very good play by Tipperary. And a good finish by Josh Key. Really good football. Quality football from Tipperary. Breaking ball here, suiting Kevin Fahey. Liam Casey laying it off as Jason Lonergan. Nice combination football again by Tipperary. And the man coming through the middle at the end of it. Lays it off as Josh Keane. This is looking good. Brilliant football by Tipperary. It's Keane's second point of the game. But it's a very well-worked score. Big Frank Burns laying it off. Tyrone trying to draw out the Tipperary defence. It comes back for as Michael Cassidy. He's going for the score. Brilliant. Not bad from the left corner back, is it? Well, he got the space that we're expecting him to pass it around. And when Michael Cassidy got the opportunity, he hit it a mighty whack straight between the posts. And they're going for the big kick out every time. Jason Lonergan. Here McGeary trying to push him out, but Lonergan is strong. Lays it back for his corner forward, Paul Maher. Tipperary retained possession. Lonergan back into the middle. This is Colin O'Reardon trying to get away from the shackles of. Big number eight, Frank Burns. It comes instead for Josh Keane. 
Tipperary slowing the build up, but this is better. Tyrone blanket defence all behind the ball. And at the end of all of that, they put it between the posts. It's left half back Bill Mark that takes the credit. Wonderful, patient build up by Tipperary. Lee Brennan. Loading one in. To be gathered by Matthew Walsh. Made an angle. Then there's a bit of panic in the Tyrone attack, I sense. They're throwing shots that are really not intelligent. That's the tenth wide of the game for Tyrone. And they're inclined to panic a little bit. Brian Duhart, one of the selectors, trying to add a bit of calmness. Jason Lonergan running at the Tyrone defence every chance he gets. Still Lonergan. Can't hold on to the ball. It's quite slippy. He's under severe pressure with three Tyrone defenders. This is Porik Hampsey. Across the face of the goal, fires Rory Brennan. Center half forward, Mark Hamden did well to keep it in. The Tipperary counter attack, slipping the ball through. There's a chance here at the end of it all to split the posts off the boot of Kevin O'Halloran. Well, you can see why they won the Munster title. You can see why they beat Cork. You can see, why, indeed, why they beat Dublin in the All-Ireland semi-final. This Tipperary football team are quite impressive. Kick out. Eventually comes to Tyrone. There was a little push on Carl McShane. So free, there's a bit of descent as well. Comes far as Frank Barnes. Going for the return is Kieran McGeary. McGeary is fouled, but it was a long time before the referee blew his whistle. It was on mature reflection, there's a chance! And Rory McGlone sends it wide. It was a controversial or a delayed decision by the referee. Tipperary were incensed. The free was quickly taken. Tipperary were exposed and really it would have been a talking point, only for the fact that the ball went wide. But it wasn't very far away off the boot of Rory McGlone. Michael Cassidy scored two points on the journey to the All-Ireland Final, scored one today. This is Carl McShane, who's fouled by Jason Lonergan. McShane sends it into the space to be gathered by Dan McNulty. Little jing to the left and right, still McNulty coming through the middle. It's Carl McShane. McShane lays it off. There's a chance here for Myler. And Myler splits the post. The white flag is raised. And Tyrone stay very, very close to Tipperary. Eight points to seven now in Parnell Park. Well worked move. Myler with the finish. Again, a loose breaking ball picked up this time by Mark Havner. Getting inside the cover and it's opening up in front of him. There's a chance here for McShane. Brilliant goal. Tyrone get the crucial score of the game. The first goal of the match that could swing the All-Ireland up to Tyrone. The Tipperary defence were cruelly exposed here. Mark Havner setting up McShane and he rocketed into the back of Evan Comerford's net. The turning point in this under-21 final, surely. Rory McGlone lays it off, first call McShane. Back to McGlone again. They recover. There's a chance here from Mark Havner. And that's over the bar. Tyrone have shown an awful lot of character in this match. Playing a really impressive Tipperary outfit that have thrown everything at the Ulster champions. But Tyrone are showing a touch of class. Free for Tipperary. They've got to produce a goal out of this. Jason Lonergan laying it off as Colin O'Reardon. Gives it everything and plants it between the posts. Two points between the teams, but the clock is heading towards the 60th minute. Brilliant point by Colin O'Reardon. But have Tipperary enough time to salvage a draw, or perhaps produce a win? Or can Tyrone hold on?
Alan O'Riordan's point, the first from play in the second half, and they go forward again. Tommy Toomey ponders. Four minutes going to be added on. We're on the 60th minute. O'Riordan hits it. Fantastic score. Well, that's pressure. That's leadership. It's the captain, Colin O'Riordan, with a cracking point. Tipperary are not beaten yet. There is enough time to salvage a draw. Perhaps. Every kick now vital. And they have it again, the Premier County. It's right half back, Ross Mulcahy, coming down the wing. Going for the score from foul, Sean Fox on the knee, he drops it, ball is in the net, but the referee had blown his whistle. And it's a free out for Tyrone. Well, Tommy Toomey can hardly believe it. Sean Fox has suffered from cramp. This was a challenge on the keeper. Ball scrambled, and the referee blew his whistle. Tipperary still have time. The clock is ticking. Jason Larnigan, Colin O'Reardon, will it be left to the captain? Getting inside the cover, sending it in. There's a chance here, there's a flick. And Tyrone are under pressure again, bursting out. The referee has blown his whistle and given a free out to Tyrone. Such drama in Parnell Park. There's a bout of fisticuffs after breaking out. And the referee is going to have a word, surely, with Michael Cassidy, who's on a yellow card. And referee will well be looking for a second yellow. And then I'm pretty sure you're going to see a red. Left corner back is off. Tyrone down to 14 players. Referee going to give the free out, but I'm pretty sure because of some of delaying tactics, he may well give another minute. He won't. The referee has blown the full time whistle, and Tyrone are under 21 All Ireland champions. Heartbreak for the Premier County. At times, to be honest with you, they look the better team, but in the end, Tyrone's character shone through. They got the vital goal and they held on for a one point victory. Full time score in Parnell Park. Tyrone 111, Tipperary 13 points. We're just delighted. I still don't know how we won it in that second half because we played very poorly in the first half. Tipperary threw everything at us and how we hung on, I don't know, but I'm just delighted. The goal was crucial, wasn't it? Well, the goal was crucial. We'd been through on one raid and we put it wide. I didn't think we'd get another raid in, but when we got the second raid in, we put it in the net and the goal was critical, especially with the breeze coming down the field in the second half. For Tyrone, what does that mean? It's kind of a new team coming along? Well, big time. You want winners around Tyrone and we've kind of lulled a wee bit, but we've got young winners now and let's see what happens and I'll give everyone a lift in the county and uh, let's move forward. Well, the odyssey is over for Tipperary. Tyrone holding their nerve in that hectic finish. All right, we have another break to take here on League Sunday.